Uh, hi all. Um, today I am going to present a second session uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, CO4. Okay. The, the topic is uh, applications of cryptographic hash function in uh, cryptanalysis and uh, cyber defense subject. Okay. <coughs> the aim of this session is uh, to make the student uh, uh, more awareness on uh, basic concepts of hash function and applications of hash functions. Uh, coming to the instructional objectives, uh, the object of, of this session is to introduce the basic concept of hash function and also it provides the necessary theoretical background and demonstrate the applications of hash function. Coming to the learning outcomes, at the end of this uh, second session, you should be able to define a hash function uh, and also understanding the uh, explanation of list of, list of uh, applications of uh, hash functions. So, uh, so here, uh, uh, what are the applications of uh, here? In this session describes the concepts of hash function and applications of hash functions. See, in this regard, uh, um, in order to understand the the source, has to send a message to destination. So, what exactly the source need to send? Here, the source need to send calculation, calculated hash value of messages, okay, and appends it to the message. So, because uh, at all the user wants to send a message to destination, the sender needs to calculate the um, the hash value of the input message, okay, and also uh, the along with the message, uh, it appends to the to the message. So, here the message, uh, the, uh, the given message together with uh, hash value is encrypted we using the secret key and any symmetric uh, encryption algorithm and also is sent to the destination also okay every message need to send a destination destination has to make sure that the message is correctly received or not okay and also uh, see the destination person also verify that the message is clearly received and uh, that the message is to be no, no one modified okay so in order to uh, message uh, the, uh, the unique message which is to be received um, the, the same key secret key is to be used for uh, um, decrypt the message along with the key hash value and also compute the hash value uh, to uh, provide the relevant uh, um, relevant uh, uh, message which is which is to be compared with the hash value ca which is to be calculated at the destination okay whatever the calculated value in that source that same value which is to be calculated at the destination is it clear so in order to um, uh, implement the hash function please make sure that uh, the comparison of hash values are very important comparing of uh, hash values uh, which are uh, um, done at, at sender side as well as they done at uh, receiver side okay if the hash value of sent by the source is and the hash value computed by the destination for the received message are same are same it, it means that the message is received at a destination without any modification without any modification so that the integrity of the message has been preserved the integration of the message has been preserved this is the description coming to the applications of hash function um, this is the uh, usage of hash function um, in message authentication um, in here symmetric encryption being been used here the source person m uh, send a message to uh, destination first of all the sender or sender of the message uh, calculate the calculate the hash value through this hash function and uh, uh, appending this uh, message with uh, uh, some uh, some padding characters and uh, and then uh, apply the encryption process on the ha hashed message hashed message with uh, that key this this is called uh, key this key what are the key which is used for uh, calculation and uh, the same key is used at the destination okay so once the uh, in encryption of the hash function encryption of the hash function with the key that is called a e of k a comma hash input uh, of message m uh, pairing with the hash message that is to be uh, that has to be sent through over the internet then this destination receives the message and decrypt the message using defunct using the decrypt uh, 
algorithm, decryption algorithm using the shared key which is to be available at uh, destination and then uh, recalculate the message with uh, uh, hash, hash value of the message and comparing the message uh, which is uh, um, which was done at uh, uh, sender uh, and that will be compared with the receiver and then uh, the once message uh, is received is equal to uh, the calculated uh, message is equal then the message is be, has been received properly if, if the message is tampered the comparison of the two two values is not matched so that uh, the rec receiver could not uh, 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 receive the message because of the message is tampered okay is, is it clear so then then uh, uh, we, s we see the more uh, uh, <coughs> This is the more uh, clarity on uh, um, the, this message authentication algorithms uh, in order to describe the uh, hash function. Okay. So digital signature. What is the digital signature? Digital signature means encrypting the hash value of or a MAC value of message with the private key. With the private key. So in, in, order, in order to uh, the sender transmits the uh, message to the destination. The, the destination make sure that the whether the message is properly uh, done by properly pro pro created by the sender or not. C in order to destination uh, authenticates the message from the sender, the destination will recheck the message through this private key. Okay. So here uh, the source uh, calculates the, the hash value of the message and uh, encrypt it uh, with the private key of the source PR using a pseudo random algorithm then that will be available at the sender and will be message will be appended with the encrypted hash value and sends the destination. In this regard, the digital signatures are implemented. So, in order to uh, design the digital signature, the source, that means the source A wants to send a message to destination B, the message has been uh, um, uh, message has been uh, provided with uh, H to, to produce the message as a function and then apply the uh, encryption on the given message uh, PR, pure random algorithm with uh, uh, private key and pro produce the uh, parent message uh, that will be sent to the receiver. That means the uh, destination. Destination uh, recalculate the message uh, with uh, uh, their public key uh, and then decrypt the message and uh, produce the relevant uh, output message. So, it will be comparing with this message with the uh, um, source message, source uh, hash value. So, that uh, when, when it both are matched, the message has been not matched, the ma not message has not been changed. So, coming to the, these are the various things uh, discussed. So, uh, and, uh, other applications of hash function is, to it, ha it has to be created one way hash, one way password value. Okay. So, uh, th this is the first uh, application uh, where the, the real time uh, users can uh, uh, use it. Okay, so in Gmail, for Gmail or uh, other social media, uh, where the hash function being used because it to create one way hash, one way password file. Okay, and second one is it is used in entity detection and merit detection methodologies. Okay, and also it is used to construct a pseudo random function PRF or also a pseudo random number. Okay, it should be emphasized with uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, hash function through these digital signatures. Okay. So, it is uh, it also we must undergo the continuous scrutiny and uh, evaluation in order to identify the potential vulnerabilities and also going uh, ongoing research uh, and development efforts will be put into force. Now, okay. So, th these are self assessment questions. Uh, first question identify hash function uh, application among the following. Here data encryption, data compression, data deduplication. Here the second data compression is a, uh, one of the hash function uh, act as a application. Okay. Then the second uh, question is identify the primary use of hash function in preserving the integrity of data. Okay. And also see the answers ensuring the data confidentiality, detecting the unauthorized access, okay, verifying the data integrity uh, and also see the encryption of data during transfer. So, the primary use of hash function in present the integrated data is uh, ensuring that uh, uh, the verifying the data integrity, the C is the correct answer. Coming to the third question, when you start storing password, hash functions are frequently used to uh, generate uh, random passwords, okay, generate the 
random process. And also, uh, the fourth one, create hash values of passwords for verification you know, has been also be considered. And fourth question is, hash functions are frequently used in blockchain technology. Okay, so it, because uh, storing sensitive data securely, na, so hash functions are so frequently used in blockchain technology for storing the sensitive data securely. Okay. And the fifth question is, which of the following instances of digital signatures uses, uses a hash function? So, here uh, uses of hash function for the sake of creating digital certificates, okay. And also, the hash functions are used for content addressing in distributing distributed file system. So, in order to distribute file system addressing, so we had to be see the uh, compress the files to reduce the storage space and also see the um, integrity. And the seventh and eighth questions, applications for hash function data dupl deduplication includes uh, um, storing data in distributed storage system as well as the compressing the data to reduce the storage space, okay. Eighth question, um, the, the, what is the house function uh, which is been used to calculate the check fun check sums which are frequently employed in network protocols. So, here the, uh, the encrypt the sense to information. And ninth question is, uh, uh, hash functions are important in digital forensics because of they help uh, um, detecting uh, file tampering and manipulation, okay. Coming to the hash function, uh, which are used for content based uh, routing in distributed systems to, uh, to encrypt the sensitive data during uh, transmission as well as the optimize the network bandwidth, okay. So, these are the terminal questions which are, uh, uh, which are coming in the examination. So, list of the hash functions, so we demonstrate the message authentication with need diagrams, illustrate the decisiveness with need diagrams, list of other applications of hash function and all. So, these are the textbooks which are discussed. Thank you.